a villain in Venice, Jane of the Air Book One, a steampunk detective and aviatrix, and part-time spy. Available now. All profits to the NHS. Scanning for audio. Welcome, welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about main range release number 264, Doctor Who Scorched Earth, written by Chris Chapman. It's a Colin Baker, Lisa Greenwood. And Miranda Raisin, sort of affair. This TARDIS grouping is fab. And the only thing, the only thing that is wrong with this story is that it is not next month's story that's got H.P. Lovecraft in it. And that's hardly a crime. You see, I'm kind of beside myself, waiting with absolute excitement for next month's. And because of that, I almost let this potential classic go by. Does it have characters? Does it have monsters that are returning? Well doesn't have new monsters does it no does it have new exciting monsters does it have old monsters coming back to bite you it doesn't have old monsters this is all new territory because this is actually pseudo historical and yes everyone knows that i'm not a big fan of those but there's a monster in it so that'll keep me occupied there's enough retelling of history to make people who aren't familiar with the Second World War or indeed the French occupation or the resistance or Nazis and Germans, not the same thing, and not to have it as a war movie is actually testimony to the writer. It's a cracking tale, it really is. It's got aeroplanes, it's got Mercedes, it's got a lot of vehicles that you can imagine being spot on in the Sixth Doctor's time. You can actually imagine how this whole thing would have been shot. But there are character moments that actually have more in common with modern Doctor Who, even Torchwood. Different shades of personality. And that is just a testimony of the quality writing that's been going on here. Here's the synopsis. July 1944, the TARDIS materialises in a small village near Rouen, where the celebrations are in full swing. A joyful France is in the mists of liberation as local populations welcome a battalion of Allied soldiers along with a colourful dressed doctor and his two rather excited friends. But there are screams amidst the celebrations as an angry crowd dish out their own brand of justice to one of their own that they have branded a traitor while Constance and Flip find themselves on opposite sides of a war beyond a war. The Doctor has other concerns. The local community is used to the fires of battle, but a new type of blaze is burning, leaping from aircraft to aircraft, man to man, and this fire seems to be just as eager for revenge as the village mob. This is a great story, truly. If you like your war movies, or hell, if you've only just seen episodes of Aloha Aloha but you want something with a bit more teeth, Think more Secret Army. But thanks to the sound design, you've got something that actually feels almost real. Almost, I say, because, of course, with the best Doctor Who in the world, you've got monsters. And this one's a very good one. I think we may see the return of this one, or at least its race. So, with that, I'll pay you the trailer, and you can decide for yourself. Because, as always, it's up to you. But of course, next month, 265, that one's got H.P. Lovecraft in it. Ah, I really must get round to playing Call of Cthulhu again one day. So until next time, be seeing you. From Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, Scorched Earth. Doctor, 
This is my time, isn't it? France during the war. Uh, my dear Constance, we really should be going. No, Doctor. Tell me, is this it? Is this the end of the war? <laughs> Do you hear that? It, it's like an animal. Shut up! Run faster! I can feel, I can feel the fire! Please, please don't! Who are you, girl? My name is Philip Hart Ramone, and I do not appreciate seeing defenseless young women abused by big burly men in front of a screaming mob. Whatever you think she's done, she does not deserve this. Nobody deserves this. Well, the fire is definitely not of this earth, though I see no match with anything else in collective Time Lord knowledge. Well, what do you mean, strike back? The war is ending. Constance, they have shamed and broken my country. It may be that they have ruined it forever, that the France I loved is truly, truly gone. And that terrible favor deserves to be repaid. You have us tied up here. But what does fire care about ropes and wooden barns? That demon has plans for us, for all of Germany. Doctor, that plane... Ah, it's heading this way, isn't it? Very much so. Incoming! Big Finish. We love stories. That was the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on Spotify, iTunes, Acast, Stitcher and wherever good podcasts are found. Get early access to content by subscribing to the Tin Dog Podcast YouTube channel. You can support the show at patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on Twitter at Tin Dog Podcast or email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk All of the things discussed are the intellectual property of others. No infringement is intended. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>